Thank you for watching Kikuya Television Online. I am still Arinda T.Y. Here are the women's face celebration. Uh, this is the Remsanga Castle in Paris, where we are at Remsanga Playground, Remsanga Primary School. Uh, on camera is uh, Mr. Emma, and of course from Grave Open, that is Changwari community. And uh, how we come next to me, so that people can see what we are having here. It is very amazing, we have uh, such a uh, course of beautiful ladies here who are going to take us through the course of cooking and demo uh, from medical team international. We're very happy and uh, they will be introducing themselves as we go on. Thank you. Thank you very much for the television. Um, my name is Sembo Sandra. I work with medical team as a nurse and as a nutrition for person for Maratashi. So we are here to teach the community on different food values. As we found it out that we have a high rate of malnutrition in our community, so we need to sensitize the community on different food values. So this is our display for our food values. We have three categories of our food. We have the, en the bodybuilding foods. We have the energy giving foods. We have the glow foods. But they have different names. You can either call them bodybuilding or protein, energy giving foods, which are carbohydrates. We also have the glow, the glow foods. So this, we categorize them in different sections. As you can see, these are our bodybuilding foods, the proteins, these are carbohydrates, the energy giving foods, and these are the glow foods, the fats, which have iron, vitamins, and whatever. We also have vegetables. And all these foods, they play a different role in our bodies. Take, for instance, the energy giving foods. They help us, they give, they help, they add more energy in our bodies. We have the bodybuilding, they help our bodies to grow. Those are bodybuilding foods. So we also have the glow foods which help us to keep our skin shining. Some have iron, which help more so the pregnant mothers. We always encourage the pregnant mothers to take this food rich in iron and it is vegetables. The vegetables, the greens, they, oh, they have different roles. Mm. Okay, um, I heard you talk of the Glow Food, Glow Food, GLO, right? Is it an abbreviation kind of stuff? No, as I said, they have different names. You can either call them the Glow, in medical terms, those are medical terms. We have the glow, we have the go, and the go. There are three. We, you, 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 you may either call them the bodybuilding, energy giving, and the glow. The glow. Shiny, it means shiny. Uh, maybe to this madam, uh, Chen Gertrude. How have you found it today? Are people are uh, responding positively to coming for this demonstration? Yes, they are responding positively. As we conducted the phone when the people are going for different services, we are buying to them the different food and their roles in the program. That is a chance to go this way. Our economy is a good thing. And we are able to tell them that we can eat different food, however cheap it is, and use available resources to, to, to be healthy. For an example, if I cannot have enough money to buy the big fish, I can use mukene, which can have the same food value as well as the fish. Or if I cannot afford the chicken, I can eat an egg, which is also the, the protein, and I eat my beans which act the same as meat. So that is what we are telling the people. And we are like, they can use whatever they have. You mean the beans can act as meat? Yes. yes. Oh, what are the substances? As we are categorizing at first, we said we have three different food values. We have the ones rich in protein, carbohydrates, and protein. So, however much the meat is not here, but it is other the body filled the protein. 
demonstration here, where are you located? How can they access you? How do you reach out to their communities? Because this needs a serious sensitization. Most of us are, are suffering from nutritional diseases and we don't know. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Uh, I can answer you by saying we conduct community outreaches like one which is here but we are based in different facilities with medical teams. We have a one health center Malembo Health Center 2, uh, Renyawawa Health Center 3, Maratatu Big Health Center 3, we have Kavule Health Center 2, we have, uh, have Maratatu B Health Center 2, we have Mombasa Health Center 2, and we have Kasola Health Center 2. So this is where we work with the refugees and also nationals. So when you come, on every, we have clinic days for nutrition, for those who are malnourished, whereby they are given different services, uh, we have our partners like the LWF, they give porridge, which is mixed with different food values, and the medical teams, whereby nutrition assessment is done at every entry point to capture the people who are having nutrition sufficient. So now from there, you can locate us anywhere. So maybe, okay. maybe to, add, to add on that, we always do this food and cooking demonstration monthly. We purchase all this and whatever, some other items which are missing. The organization supports, we have two organizations, uh, medical teams and LOWF which support nutrition. They always fund on the market basis, we purchase these items and we teach the community, we go to the community and uh, demonstrations are done at the facility level to sensitize, it's like implementing. So we also purchase seeds for this community community members. We have like lead mothers, they form groups in the community. So once money comes, we purchase the seeds for all, most, some of these we give to those lead mothers. They distribute to different yeah. Which percentage is given to the host communist as to MTR? As in the seed, so what the case? As to the memorandum with the district. Do you have it? Uh, basically, is it 30, 70, or 50, 50? Yeah, Do you know I, what I I'm meaning? It, I think it is at 70 percent. Then, Nutrition. for community, this side it is 30. For the national side? Yes. I am not sure. Okay, that sure means, that, that means because... Because I'm asking from a general view that most organizations have, go, have given 30 and 50. Um, I think it is 70% because what we receive in the refugee camp is what is received here at this Chakwane Center for yes. Yes, yes. So when we're given those funds, we all do the same thing. Mm. We want to implement all this in the community because we found out that malnutrition rate is too high as per 2022, which was last year. Okay, in one minute, your overview on today's event. So, my, according to that, what I found out, people were laughing. This food of values, as in how to use them. So, that's why we are sensitizing and encouraging their community. We shall work with the PhDs. They will keep on teaching these people who shall be coming in the community. We keep on reminding them. Okay, uh, one minute, your overview. Uh, for me so far, I've been here for six years, this is my sixth year, and this food demonstration, uh, medical teams partner with LWS, which is needed by one food program, we have seen a lot of improvement. As far as nutrition status, our people are concerned because they they have the knowledge, they have the the kitchen gardens where they plant the different things, and they have the knowledge of how to mix a well balanced.
balance diet in a meal whereby I can pick my protein, I cook the starch, and I add some vitamins, which is fruit, and I use my tomato, my onions, and the oil plus salt. So you find like in one in one meal you eat all these food values which helps our people to remain healthy. So they use the little they have to remain healthy with the support from the the mother and other things they So we are at least a step ahead, I must say. Uh, we really appreciate the effort of Medical Teams International and other supporting partners which have been here to help support the humanitarian work which is concerned. They are doing great. Okay, and I'm um, still Arinda that you wait, uh, follow us, subscribe, uh, continue uh, sharing and comment. Don't forget, we are still here to sound the program tomorrow. It's going to be around uh, uh, 30 minutes past uh, 10 in the morning. We are going to be receiving the chief guest that will be our right honorable Robin Anabanja here at Remsanga Playground, Remsanga Castle in Paris, and that is Remsanga Primary School in Changwali. Delighted to see you all coming tomorrow. Changwali is our home.